guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jodie again. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're already a subscriber to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. It really does mean a lot to me. Today we are going to be doing a more subtle makeup look. We're going to be using less color pops today and more bronzy neutral tones and a little bit of glitz and glam. So if you like the look of this makeup look that I'm wearing right now, keep watching more because it's only going to get better. So today we're going to like switch things up a little bit because I feel like I need to continue on that makeup train. I got a little bit excited with my BYS kits. For those of you that don't know why I keep going back and buying the BYS kits, it's because they were highly recommended from a lot of Aust other Australian YouTubers. Probably not so much like some of the foundations or like the other parts of their cosmetics range, but mainly because of the eyeshadow kits. Being so highly pigmented, being so smooth and easy to apply, and also just being a easy product to work with in general for some reason this eyeshadow just it just works man so I've said that so many times before with other products but it just works really well it is Australian designed I believe it is made in China it's one of the few brands that is really affordable you can find it in most drugstores but the other reason why I keep coming back to these is because now I'm not a hundred percent vegan yet but I am on a journey of my own getting there and I am vegetarian. I mean, I don't love that makeup companies are still animal testing. BYS is on that journey to cruelty free and vegan. I know, I know it is not on all their packaging yet. Most of the new stuff now, which is pretty much 80% of it is cruelty free and vegan friendly. This packaging, for example, it says cruelty free and vegan and it'll have the little logo just on the bottom corner of that packaging there. Usually you can tell if it's vegan or cruelty free if it either has something like that or I noticed on my organic shampoo and conditioner in the shower it'll have a little bunny rabbit on the back as well. That's one of the reasons why I keep coming back to this and I just keep trying to give some of the other products a good go because I know that I can make it work. I'm just one of those people that like I'm happy to try a drugstore product. Yeah, I'm very happy and impressed with everything that I found in this collection so far. There are some products that I did have in my BYS haul that were a bit iffy but I'm going to continue to keep trying the newer products because I know some of those were old season products. We're gonna get right into it. There we go. I've got the dogs laying here next to me. They're like snoozing. And boss has not stopped farting. If anyone else. Whoa, boss! Oh, no, don't come near mummy. That stinks. That, that stinks, mister. Oh, man. We started feeding them this new. <laughs> what do you want? We started feeding them this new dog food. And it's like mainly like fish and protein and veggies and stuff like that. This fish dog food, he just keeps, just keeps popping off and it stinks. You think your newborn baby at home has the worst shots? Take my dog for a day. You're helping mummy do a makeup, are you? I just applied that Express Hydration Studio OXS. I'm gonna look further into this product because obviously I don't wanna continue using it if it's, you know, not cruelty free. I also don't wanna waste products. So if I look into this and find out that it's not, I'm going to try and find an alternative. I do know that the BYS have a primer, but it's not a cream. It's a spray. So I was kind of looking for like a cream, like a moisturizing effect. I'll try and find something else. In the meantime, I'm going to use all these up. Only like three or four dollars. Go in with my Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Current Comfort Serum in Ivory. I got this back from work. I did leave it in the bathroom. I knew it. So comfortable to wear and it lasts all day. I tried looking up a list the other day to find out if Rimmel are doing cruelty feet products. I don't know if they are, but I did see that BYS do have nice foundations that I want to try and start using. Okay, so now we're just going to go in with my BYS all day wear concealer gonna go under my eyes there to cover my dark circles I'm trying this new thing that I've seen Jordan Lipscomb use where she goes up around her mouth I probably look like a real crazy person but this is what she does to lift her face to make things go in like a like an up motion I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I look like a total crazy but that's what I'm trying to do because she does it and her makeup turns out 
phenomenal. So I'm just trying out some new stuff. Guys, I've got like three different setting powders right here in front of me. I've got the BYS Two Cake Foundation, which I wasn't too impressed with last time I used it. I've got the NYX Stain Matte, but not flat powder, which my sister got me and I absolutely used the death out of it. Um, yeah, it's pretty much empty. <laughs> so and then I've got the OXS Cosmetics Flat Powder, which I've used quite a bit also, but it's, it's just a nice a sandy beige color. It's not gonna make me look too pale, so I think I might go for that one. I'm going to try and use like a bronzing kit today. Oh, there it is. I was like, ah, where did I just put that? I literally laid everything flat out so it's like reachable because normally when I'm doing my makeup videos, everything's just scattered. I'm going to do my bronzer and then I'm going to start to use that new powder blush. I'm using the Ulta Free in the Beyond Bronze kit. This is also cruelty free. I think I bought it from Target. It's lasted me a long time. This side is like a deep bronze. Like I think it's kind of, they give you two different bronzing types and that comes with like a highlight, like a shimmer in it. This one I think is for darker skin tones. It just kind of looks a little bit muddy on me. It doesn't suit my skin tone at all. And this one is just perfect for me on this side here. I'm gonna go in with that on my cheekbones and around my forehead and bronze my face up a little bit. Right now I'm gonna go in and fill my eyebrows. I always use this color from the Rimmel Magnified Nude Edition. I just use this light brown color down the end here because there's no shimmer in it, no glitter or anything like that. It's a pure matte color. Just filling my brows. Not gonna do a full dramatic look this week. I just want it to be a little bit softer and more neutral. So that's why I'm doing that. Instead of drawing on my eyebrows, I'm just filling them in. And I'm just gonna brush them in using the little spoolie end of my eyebrow pencil. Thinking about using mainly the berries palette. There's a lot of neutral tones in here and some of the shimmers from the foil palette. I'm gonna use this color Toffee. This one, the fourth one along here. I'm gonna go around my outer crease with that. Now boss won't get off me. It's like sitting on my lap. 23 kilos of plump. Excuse me. Ah. Okay. So just finished this eye, going back in on the other eye, doing the exact same look. Now I'm going to go in with my other palette from the Foiled Metallics palette. And I'm going to be using the Glam color, which is not the same as the Foiled one that I used last time, but I think it's a little bit prettier. I'm really telling this light, but it's throwing some pinky sort of tones. So I'm going to use that color on my lid. Again, guys, like I said, you do not need a lot to pack this on. You do not need to pack it on as much as what you might think. There we go. Just gonna pat that on to the lid. I'm gonna get like make it smaller as I get into the corner of my eye there. Me, 
if you won't let me go. Oh, so pretty. Okay guys, now I'm going to go in with that OXX Cosmetics blush that I intended on using earlier and I'm going to blend that in with the bronzer. What it looks like without all the cardboard around it, it is quite pink on camera, but in person it's more of like a rosy sort of beautiful blush. So I'm going to go and pop, the, just I'm going to pop like a little bit on my cheeks because this is also very pigmented. I'm gonna pat over it all with my powder blush just so it blends in nicely with that bronzer so it's not so harsh. Now I'm gonna go in with my highlighter, the OXX Cosmetics powder highlighter just in that little baby there. Need my nose. Cupid's bow. And then I'm just going to place a little bit up on my brow bone. So now that's all done. Ooh, look at that highlight. So nice. It's, that's so nice. So we're going to go in and use my BYS eyeliner. I really love this highlight. It's my favorite highlight. Also, if you're looking for another really good highlight, it actually looks really similar to this one in the BYS. You'll probably see it in either Kmart, Priceline, Cosmetics Plus, online, wherever you need to find your BYS products. It looks very similar to this, but it has three shades of highlight in it. And it is thebomb.com. Let's do this. When I'm with you, I feel so much better. Oh, yeah. Before you, I was just a shell, so stuck in the dark. in with my favorite my great lash mascara by Maybelline you can really see that shimmer popping up now guys I'm now gonna line at the bottom of my eyes when I down one to go Okay, now that my liquid eyeliner has been lined on the bottom, the new Fierce kit in the BYS kit that I bought, they have this moonlit color in the corner, which I'm really excited about using. It's like a white, shimmery, glimmery color. So I just kind of want to... If I move the lighting away, go. See, it's like a white. So I'm going to try that instead and see if I can make the corner of my eyes pop. And see if that does anything. Ooh. I kind of got like a bit of highlight to it. Oh, I really like that. That's so cool. I can't believe I've never used that color before. Um, oh, beautiful. Can you guys see that? I wonder if I use it as a bit of a highlighter. Ooh. Okay, that's a bit much. I'm gonna. Getting carried away, Jody. Seriously, you could use that as a highlighter if you wanted to. Look at that. 
well. Move on to some lip product because my lips look quite bare at the moment. So far I'm digging this look. I'm just gonna take out my hair clips. These have been amazing. I'm pretty sure, where did I get these? I got these from the $2 bargain store. I think it was from the reject shop for $6 for two. It's been very popular, this style of clip. So I bought those two for six the other day. It's just kept my hair out of my face. And now I'm just gonna put some lip color on. Normally I would go in with my NYX Intense Butter Gloss. Is it NYX or NYX? Someone tell me and correct me now because I love this product and I don't wanna be pronouncing it the wrong way. Today I'm gonna be going in with the OXX Cosmetics. This is a lip gloss and I love it. It is in a barely there color. It's more of like a really neutral tone. Very similar to the Butter Gloss, but less intense. I'm not sure why I thought that was the matte one. I do have another one that is matte. I don't know why I thought it was this one. It looks very similar. Might be in my makeup purse somewhere or in my handbag. But either way, this is a really nice color. It doesn't come on too thick. It's not sticky. It's more of like an oil-based product. I really like the color. It's more neutral. It's not full on. It's a really good lip gloss to have in your purse. If you're wanting like a cheaper version of something really expensive, this is really nice and glossy. Now we're gonna put some lashes on. lashes on this is the completed look if you guys like this look today please let me know please give this video a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more looks like this please subscribe to my channel don't forget to click the bell notification to be notified every time i upload a video hopefully you guys like this video i will see you in the next one yeah